Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create a template. So we use a, a template as a guide to help us cut accurately. Um, it's really important to always use a template whenever you're cutting out material. I sometimes see students brawling on fabric with a pen and then if they make a mistake, they just move on to a different piece of the fabric and it actually ends up wasting loads and loads of material. So you must always use a template whenever you're cutting out fabric. Um, what we use is sugar paper, it's quite flexible. And also if you make a mistake on it, you can rub it out. Um, whenever you're creating a template, don't feel um, scared if you're not the most amazing drawer. You can use anything that's available to you in order to create a template. So if I use the top of this paint bottle, um, what I can do, and remember like with the fabric, always draw at the edge of the paper because you're going to minimize how much paper you're going to waste. Um, just use your pencil. Again, don't use a pen because it means you can rub it out if you make a mistake. Okay, and again using my paper scissors to cut it out. Um, templates are really important to use if you're going to cut out multiples of the same shape um, because you would only create one template and then you could use it to cut out maybe 10 pieces of fabric or something like that. So again using the whole length of the blade. Okay and that is how and why we create a template.